Hey guys, this is Danks87. So today we're going to be bringing our sprite project to life with all of his movement and animation all working together. So for this tutorial, you're going to need a control animator, impact sensor, direction splitter, selector, material tweaker, physics tweaker, the movie camera, counter, timer, mover, advanced mover, and gyroscope. So to start off with we're going to talk about the surroundings. Now the surroundings are going to have a floor plate and if you have an edge you're going to need to leave a little bit of material over the edge. So we're going to place down a tag onto this floor and we're going to have it green and tag name floor. We're going to do the same with any floors Obviously, if it's a ledge, you're going to need to have that little bit extra over the edge. But for the rest of them, you could just have the green tag. So this is what we were left with last time in our project. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the character's physics, which will also activate all of the animations. You can use invisible material for this. If you don't have invisible material, you can make your own, say with cardboard. And then using the opacity tweaker, set the opacity to 0% and then you will have yourself invisible material. But seeing as though I do have invisible material, I'm going to use that for this tutorial. So I'm going to place down a block of invisible material. It might be better to use a circle, but for this tutorial I'm going to use a block. It's up to you what you choose. Then I'm going to place on the controller later. I want this control animator settings to be for me to use. So I'm just going to increase the radius, the trigger radius that I can get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our splitters. So I'm going to put this in a separate microchip. And we are going to add in a directional splitter. Then we are going to add in our left and right stick into the input of the splitter. Then we are going to use a selector, which will allow us to either select going left or going right, which will also be hooked up to our animations. So when we're going right, which is plus, it will activate that facing sprite animation. Then we're going to open up our right microchip for our sprites. This was the right movement. And we are going to place in our right select, which is plus, which would mean it was output number one. And we're going to place it into the both of the AND gates. So one for the bottom and one for the top. Then we are going to do exactly the same with the left. So open up our left movement sprites. And we are going to add in port 2, which is the minus, which means it's left, into both of the AND gates. So now we only have one AND gate slot left in the animations. This AND gate slot is going to be used by our impact sensor. So we're going to place down an impact sensor inside our control animator. We're going to include touching, so yes, and it's going to be the tag which was green and floor. Then we're going to place that output into both the not gate and the last remaining free slot for the and gate, which was the top one. We're going to do both we're going to do it on both the left and the right. Now we can close down both our directional microchips as well as both of our sprite animations and we can move on to actually dealing with the physics of the character itself. So first of all I'm going to place down another microchip just to keep things obvious to see and structured. 
then we're going to add a few material tweakers and things like that so the first one we're going to use is a material tweaker and we're going to set this friction down to 0% so that it doesn't have any friction if you're using a normal material you might want to turn off cast shadow and you definitely want to turn off physics sounds next up we're going to be adding a physics tweaker we are primarily using this physics tweaker for changing its weight we want to change the weight to 0, 0.0 so no weight and then lastly we want to add in a gyroscope this keeps our sprite facing up we want the maximum speed rotation speed that you can get and full strength now that we have that done we're going to place a microchip our very first microchip and inside this microchip we're going to place two more microchips the use for these microchips is purely for structure so the first microchip we're going to place in an advanced mover we want this advanced mover our speed obviously is whatever speed you want we want the a deceleration to be 90% and the acceleration to be 100% then we are going to place its inputs so our impact sensor which is floor we want for on and off and our left and right from our analog stick on the left into the left and right into the advanced mover next up we're going to add some gravity which is placed into our other microchip for this we're going to use a mover we are going to set this mover so that it has zero left and right speed but minus six in normal up and down speed we want to set the deceleration to 0% but keep the acceleration to 50% so for now we are finished with this microchip so we can close that down and in our main microchip we can add a, another microchip and inside this microchip we are going to add another advanced mover this advanced mover is used for the jumping movement so we can still turn left and right when we're jumping so we're going to keep it at 4 but I'm going to increase the acceleration to 70% and the deceleration to only 10% and then add in our left stick into the left and right input and then once again we can close that down next up we're going to add the last microchip which is for jumping inside this microchip we're going to put in a counter this counter is going to be set to just count to one and then we are going to place next is the timer this timer is going to be set to 0 0.4 and it's going to be a countdown timer then we are going to place the output of the counter into the input of the timer now we're going to add another mover this time it's going to be left and right zero but up six this time it's going to have a hundred percent acceleration but zero percent deceleration then we are going to place our timers output into the input of the mover for any jump sounds that you would like this is where you'd put them in so you can choose your jump sounds from either there's some good ones in swoosh near the bottom or if you're going retro as we are with our pixel art then you can use retro and there's actually quite a nice jump in there as well so once you've chosen your jump just take the output of the timer and place it into the sound input next up we're going to get a knot gate we're going to place it inside our jump microchip 
and we're going to place the output of the timer into the NOT gate. Then we are going to take the output of the NOT gate and put it into our movement and gravity microchip which is the one with both movement advanced mover and the mover for the gravity then we are going to choose our button for our jump so normally it's X so I'm going to use X and I'm going to place that into the input of the counter then we are going to use the impact sensor touching the floor to reset the counter so you can only jump once until you have to touch the floor again then the counter will reset and then you can jump another time now we can close that all down and we can stick this to our sprites so what you want to do is line up your invisible material with the sprite sheet being on top and you'll want to line up the feet to the very bottom of the material that you've used so your invisible material then it can be a bit of a pain but you might have to get rid of not actually get rid of but make invisible the first ones so that you can see the controller and make it not visible in play mode then we want to reline up our sprite with the background and where he will actually be standing and now we can test and there you have your working sprite looks awesome in 3D but if you do prefer the 2D look you can use a movie camera and place it inside your controller and you can use its activation of the input as it's on and off we can turn off its hold time because it will hold as long as we're in it make sure that you turn off disable controller and then your flatness, the increase of flatness makes it less flat so the decrease makes it flat and then that will give you a 2D perspective for playing your games so there we have a fully operational fully animated sprite well I hope you've enjoyed this series guys there will be a lot more on it on top down games but for this platform version it is done well thanks for watching guys keep tuned for more and do not forget to subscribe cheers guys <laughs>